Once upon a mouse. Welcome to Vera City, where life is joyful and everyone lives in peace. And likes spinning in fields. All but one, that is. One who is jealous of Minnie's beauty and popularity. The witch, Miserabelle. One day, whilst Mickey and Minnie were spinning, they stopped spinning because they got dizzy. That makes sense. Oh no! Mickey had to do something. He chased after the witch, Miserabelle, all the way to the... I wonder if they just kept spinning, would they have actually gotten to this place as well? <laughs> the Emerald City. Okay, no. The Castle of Illusion, starring Mickey Mouse. Hey guys, Lytane here, and uh, as you just saw, we're going to be playing The Castle of Illusion starring Mickey Mouse. This is a game from my childhood, but I didn't actually own the Genesis one, I owned the uh, Master System, uh, which is actually a, it's like a port of this with inferior graphics and everything, but it's the one I own, it's the one that I love more. But I thought I'd give this one a try, I haven't actually played this uh, in... Pff, a long time, except for a little bit of my test recording, but let's get started. Hurry, before Miserable uses her powers of illusion to make herself look like Minnie and make Minnie look evil like her. You must find the seven gems of the rainbow. They will give you the power to overcome Miserable. Okay. Thanks, random old man that just stands outside. But be careful. The gems are protected by the master of illusion. Okay, cool. I'm sure I'll be fine. Oh no! Evil soldiers. Bam, bam, bam. I got a butt of power. So here I am exploring the castle. I'm actually controlling this. This is all auto scroll. What kind of room is behind this door? That's my Mickey impersonation. So, probably not very good. <laughs> I just like how Mickey goes in to save Minnie and he just like starts just raiding this person's house. So as you can see, this is the first level of the game. We are in a forest because, you know, grass stages are always the way to go in the start of a, of a platformer. Mickey has only one speed. Well, pretty much one speed. Um, this. You can't run. You can't do anything else to make him go faster. No other buttons do anything. He has a jump, and if you press jump in the middle of the air, he does a bum bounce, which actually hurts bad guys. Where I complained where um, in... Uh, Buster Bust Loose, the last game that I played, that pressing an extra button to make it to turn a normal thing into attack is a bit weird. I find this easier because it's the same button. It's not like I'm pressing a new button. So, boom, boom. Um, so I find that a lot easier to do. Plus, um, it doesn't change Mickey's jump arc or anything. So, also holding down the jump as you bounce onto somebody's head. Ooh. Oh damn. Um, makes you bounce higher. The other thing that you can do, as you can see, I've been collecting some apples. Once you start collecting apples, you can press the other button to throw them. Pretty much everything dies in one hit in this game. So having some apples uh, on hand is pretty good because then you can kill things from a distance. So, whoa. I didn't know if there was a pit there. Um, so at this stage, uh, this game is split up into a few different stages and a few different areas of the stage. I think there's like three or four per um, area. So the first one was just introducing us to some of the mechanics, and now this one has introduced us to um, some uh, pitfalls. Oh, and leaf butterflies. Whee! Yeah, combo that. Oh yeah. Ooh, an extra life. Wonder if I can get that. Uh. Oh yeah, like a boss. Um, this game handles really, really strange, and this is another one of the, the other things that Mickey can do. If you ever go to a slope that is about 45 degree angle, he runs. Like, whoa! Uh, I thought you could jump onto that. And then, basically, you're just trying to get to the far right most of the time to exit the level. As you can see, every time you get to an exit, the whole idea behind the game changes. So, now, we're on spider webs, trying to explore, um, I want to go back down, but I don't know where, okay, 
<laughs> Try. Oh, oh. Okay. Um, so now we're on spiderwebs and everything's a pitfall, so already we're getting a lot harder. Whoa. Okay. Um. Ooh. Ah. Ah. <laughs> okay. Um, so we're already getting a lot harder in this game, but it's not too difficult. Um, it's, it's fairly okay at this point in time. But for the third section of the game, I think this is pretty hard. As a kid, I found this place really, really... No, I'm not going to risk that. I found this place really difficult because, um, yeah, I'm a kid and this is a lot of bad guys and if you make a single wrong mistake, boom, you're dead. And like I said, there's no, there's no running, so pretty much your jump arc is very similar every single time, which is cool. Just like the graphics here changing from a nice happy, um, whee! Oh, oh. From a nice happy uh, forest to now a dark and gloomy one, and now we've got ghosts, which uh, you can't actually kill. So let's bounce up there for a nice little secret. Yeah! Um, so as you can see, there's uh, some stars that you can collect. Stars are your health. Um, in the bottom left corner, it says power, um, which uh, for every red dot that you have, you can take a single hit. So at the moment, I can take five hits. To fill it up, you have to find stars. Um, Okay, cool. Um, and then, after that, you also have, um... Uh, should I go down this way? Let's see what's down this way. Um... Uh, die, guys. Oh, damn it. <laughs> um... What's over this way? Um, so as you go through, you... There's a few different things that you're going to be collecting. So, this is a star, so as you can see, I've got four health, now I've got five. If you collect stars when you've got full health, you just get bonus points. Uh, points, uh, I don't even think give you lives, I don't think give you anything. Um, you also have sacks, which give you ten of an item that you had. If you, you can only hold thirty of anything, so, that's about it. And we go to the next area, which is the boss. Smiley tree face man. He's pretty easy, you just wait for him to... Um, roll, you jump over the top of him, and then you try and dodge the acorns that fall out of the tree. And then you can throw an apple on him. You can also bum bounce him when he's, uh, smiling at you. Uh, if you don't have any apples. But either way works. Um, I find him pretty easy. He's the first boss, so of course he has to be easy. He only takes five hits as well, and that's four if I'm not mistaken. So, boom! Nope, that was four. Oh, maybe take six hits. I don't know. Or maybe the... Maybe the fruit does less damage? I don't know. But it's pretty... It's pretty easy. I think the fruit does less damage then. Or maybe... I don't know. I'm fairly certain I'd, it shouldn't take this long. There you go, he's dead. And that's it. That's the end of the first boss. After completing a boss, we have a very, um, Castlevania feel to it, where a giant random orb just flies down from the sky and we collect it. Yay! That's the end of the first level. Here is, here is the red gem. You have much more to do to save Minnie. Yay, I've got a gem. Sonic would be proud. So then you get a score based on what you did, um, for getting through the level, for finding things, um, and I don't know what the technical bonus is. Technically, I don't know. But level one is complete. So then Minnie, sorry, Mickey decides that uh, going into other people's rooms is good. Another door? What could be inside? I don't know, Mickey, what is inside? Level two is the Toyland. Now we get to change things up. And I like this. I like this idea of changing it up. Um, so the first level is a generic thingy. And look, the exit's already here. Wow, that was easy. Oh. It's locked. This introduces a new gimmick, which I don't think is used ever again, actually. The fact that the exit is right at the start, but it's locked. So now we have to climb up this giant toy staircase in order to find... Whoa. Whoa. That was close. In order to find the key. It's not too difficult. But um, if you ever find uh, like a branching path like that, take it, because it's usually some kind of goodie. 
Um, also, as you can see, the items in the bottom corner have changed from uh, apples to marbles. So every level oh, has a unique item. I think there's only three, to be honest. Um, but we went from apples to marbles. Come on, yeah. And then here's a ten of those for me. Whee! That's a fast way to go up. Just bouncing their heads. Kill them! Oh, that was close. Uh, oh! Don't worry about the background things moving and changing. Uh, they do nothing. I find if you ever have to do a leap of faith, um, if you just press the, the bounce button, like, you just press the attack button, so that way if you do accidentally land on an enemy, you're gonna kill them. Whoa! Buddy! <laughs> the clouds look so goofy! Oh gosh, in a game which could even have goofy, but it doesn't. Alright, I think I'm nearing the top now. Yeah, alright, so there's the key, and once we collect it, oh! We have to get all the way down! Ah, oh, I missed the... Whoa! Whoa! I wonder if there's anything up here because. Oh, Alright, never mind. We. Oh, damn. Whoa! That was fun. A lot easier going down. So I like the fact that this game introduces new gimmicks and new ways to play. Um, the backgrounds and everything change on every area, which I think is pretty neat as well. And they introduce new things, like now we got springs. These springs feel... bad. Because um, there's like a little delay before you actually bounce. Also, pressing the jump button or holding it down or anything does not change your jump arc too much. But you can actually press it like I just did there. Oh, I can't get it again. And you can glitch out the spring a little bit, which is not good. So I just find um, just jumping on it is yeah, enough. Also, now we have these yellow blocks. Oh, that's the end of the game. We can't go any further. Oh, maybe we can! Yay, we got an extra thousand points. Alright, some soldiers. Uh, yeah, I, I quite like... I'm quite liking this game. The graphics look pretty good. Um, Mickey has a bit of a goofy face, um, but he's handling fairly well, even though he can't run. Um, he has a lot of personality to him, even though, once again, uh, he doesn't have too many sprites. But this is an early 90s game. This is like one of the first platformers. What's this? Uh, jelly? Oh. Um, this is one of the first platformers ever released on the Sega Mega Drives as well, so I can definitely give it props for being pretty decent. Like, um, handles well. So far, the, you know, everything has been alright. Um, it's a little simple, but compared to some of the other things that were also coming out around this time, I think this is pretty, pretty good. Um, it's also not, whoa, clown. It's also not made by, uh, Sega Sega, I don't think. I don't know. I wonder who made this game. Um, so if it's made by a third party developer, that's pretty cool. Yeah, all the points. Die. Yeah. <laughs> that's the end of that. Now we come to the boss? No. Okay. Now we've got another hallway to go through in Toyland. Giving us a lot of marbles. Now we have a new gimmick. If we touch this, the world flips and everyone dies. Except for us, of course. Um, so touching it will kill everything. But sometimes you don't want to touch it. I think there's some areas which you can only get to when it's flipped or... Or you have to bounce off some people's heads to get stuff. I don't know. I don't remember. Oh, I think I got hurt. Yeah, at the same time as I killed them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, in order to get through this, you need some marbles. The uh, attacking animation for Mickey as well. He stops in his tracks when he throws, so you just have to remember that. Um, it can be a little awkward. Come to me. I'm going to collect this. Ah, oh, damn. Uh. 
now die. Nah. Um, so that can be a little awkward when you're doing... Uh, let's just walk this way. Oh! What a rude unicycle. Um, yeah, the throwing animation does feel a little wonky because you can throw in the air free- oh. <laughs> oh my god! Ah, oh, damn, can't go through that way. I'm almost dead too, I've only got one health. Those crazy unicycles. Yeah, so- Oh, there's health there. Um, yeah, so the- the attacking animation, uh, for the- the marbles is a little bit weird. Um, when you're standing still, it's okay, but when you're not, it's... No, when you're standing still, it's not okay. When you're um, trying to jump and throw it, it's fine. But when you're running on the ground and throwing it, you stop dead in your tracks. By the way, this guy is super easy if you just duck here. He can't hit you. So after two or three jumps, he... Um... After two or three jumps, he throws his fist out at you. And if you're just holding down the button... That's it. And then you bounce on his head. This is the easiest boss ever. This is from um, my uh, this is from my childhood memories because <laughs> I used to have so much trouble with this boss because it's really oh damn it it's really awkward to um, to dodge him because he's doing that constant bounce and then after every two or three jumps he decides to throw a punch um, which can get pretty annoying but there you go he's dead and we get the next jam so I think that's where I'm going to end it um, this is the orange jam you still have a long way to go before you can save mini okay okay you have to tell me every time <laughs> um, well that'll be the end of this episode of uh, Mickey Mouse the castle Mickey Mouse stars in the castle of illusion I hope you guys liked it. Um, this is, like I said, one of those games that I played a lot as a kid, but not this version. So this is fun to try something a little bit different. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!